Today we're gonna check our piston and valve clearance using a dial indicator. We've degreed the cam, installed a pair of solid lifters, and set our valve train at zero lash with light checking springs installed. In general, exhaust piston and valve clearance is tightest around 10 degrees before top dead center as the piston chases the exhaust valve shut. So I like to check at various points in this area until I find the tightest clearance. At the point we want to check, we zero the indicator, then manually open the valve until it contacts the piston, keeping note of the measurement. In this case, a healthy 275 thousandths. On the intake side, clearance is generally tightest around 10 degrees after top dead center as the intake valve is opening, chasing the piston down the hole. In this case, once again, we have a pretty healthy 257 thousandths. Another more common way to check, especially for DIY guys, is to put some modeling clay on the piston, install the head in the valve train, turn the motor through one complete cycle or two revolutions. And then when we take the head back off, we can see the impressions left by the valves. And once again, we see a healthy amount of clearance. Drop a comment below and let me know which method you prefer and why. And like and follow GMZOnline.com for more.